at Dulles Airport right now, uh, getting ready to board the plane and um, head to ATL. This is Mercy's like third trip, I think. Yeah, Sir, that. Our fourth trip. Yeah, your fourth trip. So, how do you feel, Mercy? Cool. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay, I see you. Oh, you're not ready. I thought you was ready. I thought you was gonna take us home. So the trip was pretty smooth. We had a little hiccup in the TSA pre-check line, but not that big of a deal. We had a rental car. So now we're headed to our house. Um, I didn't mention that before, but yeah, we bought a house. So here's the dilemma. So this is the entire room, right? So Faith likes having the bed like in between the two. Hold on, girl. So we're gonna try putting the bed here and see how it works. And if we don't like it, eventually we'll just move it back. Is that cool with you, Mercy? Hmm? Yo, shout out to Auntie Felicia and Uncle Gunner for supplying Mercy with all these toys that she could play with while we're here in Georgia. Did you say thank you? Look, if you're not gonna say thank you, say hi. <laughs> so I guess that'll suffice for now. Under the kitchen, because the flooring goes around the kitchen. All right, the guy is here. We're about to get our mattress. It's about to get real. We about to fully move in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's the new bed, and it has a remote. <laughs> How do you like the new bed? feels good. Yeah, it does. So, like, soft, but not firm at the same time. Yeah. You know? All right, so now we got to break it in. So, I can't see this part. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we had a little uh, mishap earlier, a little accident. But my baby girl strong. Show him your hand, baby girl. She just uh, hurt herself and cut her hand a little bit, but she's okay. She was crying. Now she's back to normal. Say hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl's good. <sighs> okay. Yo, change can be such a difficult thing to deal with. And almost every major life change you can think about has happened to me and my family this year. So change has hit us like a ton of bricks. It's crazy and I'm gonna tell you all about it. So if you've been following me, a couple weeks ago I did a spoken word called You Need Change. And the reason that I wrote that spoken word and filmed it and uploaded it on YouTube is because it's something that myself and my family are dealing with currently right now. And if you wanna check that video out after this video, a link will be in the description. So the first thing that happened to us this year is our new baby girl was born. Absolutely one of the most amazing points of my life. And I, honestly, I can't even think of words to describe how excited, how happy I was. But having a new baby, there is an adjustment that you have to make, especially with your time and your attention. It's been a little bit of a challenge, but again, it's my baby girl, so it's, it's been great at the same time. Also, letting our parents know and giving them the news was, was a lot of fun. Another major life change is that I ended up changing my job. I had worked for the federal government in two different agencies for almost like 15 years and ended up leaving to go to the private sector. So that was hard to do. But even though it was hard, it was definitely a better situation for my family. So I'm, I'm so glad I did it and I love where I'm at. And then we had to sell our house and move into my parents' basement. What makes it hard is that we actually bought a house at the same time, but we can't move into the house yet. I told y'all, change can be really difficult sometimes. So not only did we buy a house, but we bought it in a totally different state. And the reason we're in my parents' basement is because my wife is still working, even though my job is technically out of state. And so we've been working it out. It's been hard sometimes, it's been a little stressful, but shout out to my wife who's been super patient about my travel. So here's the thing, even though change is hard, change is so necessary. There's a season for everything. There's a time for everything. If you are resistant to change, then you're gonna miss out on things in life. We're gonna be leaving friends behind. We're gonna be leaving family behind. We're gonna be leaving things that we're familiar with. My barber, like I, I've been going to the same barber for years and now I have to find someone new. 
but it also opens up the opportunity to make new friends, to build new relationships. And it actually happened already. Some friends of mine had moved there first. I wasn't as close to them as I am now. We grew closer and closer and now I consider them family. Shout out to the Ingdals. None of that would have happened if I was resistant to change. See, there's a part in the spoken word that I mentioned change is growth. Well, growth comes with growing pains. You have to sometimes go through an uncomfortable period in order to get out on the other side and enjoy life in a better way or experience new things in a different way. Not all parts of the changes that my family and I have been going through are easy, but I will tell you this, we are getting closer to seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and it's so exciting. So I'm making this video to say it's okay to be uncomfortable, it's okay to embrace change, it's okay to do something different. And when you do those things, when you engage in the act of change and, and anything outside of stagnation, you will grow and you will become a stronger person for it. So anyways, if you get a chance, check out my spoken word about change up here. There will be a link in the description as well. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy K Soul. Peace.